Alright guys, um, my name's Tom, welcome to this video. Um, I've managed to try and explain some of the differences between the Shop Effecto 618 and the Shop Effecto 118, um, which I've just got down there and I'll be bringing out in a bit. Um, the reason I made this video is because when I was trying to decide which Shop Effecto to buy, I found it a bit difficult um, because of the differences between the two jackets, um, which obviously look the same but are in fact very different jackets indeed. Um, in terms of size and fit, um, I got a bit confused and I could have done with a video which explained some of the differences. Um, I'll try and be as thorough as I can and um, use some of my experiences doing it to hopefully help some other people. Um, obviously shots are amazing, they're really good quality. If you're watching this video you probably already know that. Um, if you are considering whether to get a shop effect or a cheaper jacket, believe me it is worth the money. These feel awesome on, great quality, big panels of leather, really will last a lifetime, probably outlive you. Um, this for example, this is an older 618, um, judging by the label in the coin pocket, which is how you're able to see um, date them a bit. Um, I think it's late 80s, early 90s. Um, this is in quite good nick, it's been well looked after. Um, the main difference is between them from a material point of view is, obviously they're both leather, but the 618 is heavyweight steer hide leather. It's thick, it's heavy, um, it's not quite as supple as the 118 leather, uh, it doesn't feel as soft. This feels like a really heavy substantial jacket when you've got it on. It, um, it doesn't give quite the same level of um, movement but it's great leather, it's very shiny, creaks a lot. <laughs> um, the fit on these is a bit different. If I stand back a bit, <clears throat> you can see on my t-shirt that this one's coming too. So you can see there's a good solid inch or two of t-shirt, which you can see when the jacket is zipped up, like so. And if I turn around, you can see where it comes to on my body. Oh, 618 is also more fitted around the waist. So around here, you can feel it comes in quite a lot. And it does feel quite short on. If you're used to wearing um, sort of more standard biker jackets, you probably will notice the difference. Um, it does feel noticeable when you first put on a Perfecto, if you've never worn one before, 618 anyway, where it falls on you. Um, the whole point of that obviously is if you're actually using the bike, it doesn't ride up around your ears when you're on it. Um, it is, to be fair, much more practical for bike riding. Um, so if you're going to use it for both, you might end up preferring this anyway. Um, oh. It's a much closer fit around the body. If you're going to be wearing a hoodie or a jumper or something like that, you might find it a bit tighter. Shop do suggest that you go up a size with the 618s. Personally, I've never had a problem. Um, I'm a 40 chest and I'm wearing a 40. Uh, I prefer them to be a bit tighter. If I'm going to wear a 618, I want it to be well fitted anyway, so I'm not that bothered and generally I will only wear sort of quite a thin jumper or a thin hoodie underneath anyway. So for me, it's not quite so much of an issue. Um, it's, it's a very different jacket to the 118. It does feel very different. Um, they do look very similar, but if you are able to get to a shot stockist and try one on, I do suggest you do because the difference is you know, they are big. You'll see a lot of questions on all the shop website and um, various forums and stuff talking about the differences between the two. And the shop are really helpful and they will answer lots of questions and you'll get lots of opinions. Um, but there is no substitute for trying them on. Um, I mean, I've got three different shop effectos. I've got the 613, the one star. I've got the 618 and I've got my 118 down there. And all, all of them are very different jackets. They all feel very different on. Um, it can get quite confusing. Um, this retails on the shop website for the same price as the um, 118. Uh, it's what, 625 quid, 
uh, something like that, $760. Um, so obviously it's a big investment, but you know it is a quality bit of kit. As you can see, large panels of leather on the back. You feel like you're wearing a really quality jacket. So I'm going to show you oh, the 118, which I've got just here. Now, first difference you notice when you put the 118 on, it's a softer jacket. The leather is more supple. This jacket is fairly new. This is only 2014. Um, it hasn't had much wear. I only bought it recently off eBay. Um, but it feels like it's already broken in. It's really soft, really smooth leather. Um, some, of the notice, some of the differences that you'd notice when wearing it uh, because of the softer leather. If you're a fan of, like me, if you're a fan of having the collar up, the collar doesn't stay quite as up as on the 618 because of the softer leather. Um, these jackets don't creak as much. Um, they're also not quite as shiny, they're a bit more matte. Um, it's probably looking fairly shiny at the moment in this video uh, because I've got lights on, but generally it doesn't feel quite as shiny. Some people might disagree with me. Um, the fit is much more what we would expect of probably like a modern bike jacket to be. Um, it's much fuller, much less fitted. If you look where it falls on me, you can't see nearly as much t-shirt now. It falls below the belt, unlike the 618. And if you look at the back of it, where it falls, it is much more of a casual jacket, sort of for day-to-day -day wear, than the 618. A couple of other small differences from the 618. 118 has a pocket just there for you to snap your belt to. The belt also feels a bit longer. Um, I don't know whether I can actually get that in. Whether this is simply because the jacket is an inch longer, um, according to the website, I have checked. This is actually available even longer than this. Um, the 618 is only available in the 25 inch, whereas this one that I'm wearing at the moment, this is 26, and you can get it in a 28. Um, this jacket is a lot, lot newer than the 618 I showed you earlier. Um, so obviously that one's had a few more battles to go through, so it probably doesn't look quite as smart as this one, which has had a very easy life and is only a couple of years old. Um, other differences, it's much easier to wear this one with thicker jumpers, thicker hoodies. Um, again, because of the way it fits, especially around here, it feels noticeably different. It's not nearly as pulling in. Doesn't feel nearly as fitted. It's very soft. Um, it does feel lovely on. It really does. Oh, for my money, I do actually prefer this one. I find it a more comfortable jacket, um, which makes me feel a bit disloyal to the 618, which I own first. Um, but I do prefer, personally, it to come down to a more normal length. Different people feel differently. Some people don't care. Um, I'm quite a short bloke anyway, and things like jumpers and hoodies look pretty long on me anyway. I'm only five for eight. Um, yeah, feel sorry for me. So, if I'm wearing something that's quite short, when I'm already wearing clothes that look a bit too long, it looks peculiar. Taller guys, I think, can get away, weirdly enough, with the 618 better when it sits nicely above the belt. I think it looks much less weird. If you're short ass like me, I don't think it looks quite as good. I much prefer to have a more standard length jacket. But obviously it's all about taste. I mean, if you Google um, sizing, which is probably how you found this video anyway, you can see loads of people have lots of different opinions on what looks good and what doesn't. So that's, that's something you have to make a decision for yourself. A lot of people do end up buying a couple of different sizes, end up buying a couple of different styles, trying to find the right thing for them. This is another size 40. All of my shots are size 40. And for me, they've all been fine. Um, I wouldn't want to upsize on any of mine. I mean, shop recommend that you buy the 118 true to size, um, which I did. They don't recommend you buy the 618 true to size, I think. I think that's still their, their policy. 
um, and I still bought true size and it was fine. Um, something to mention on this one, however, I found the length of the sleeves on this really long. Um, I had two inches taken off the sleeves professionally um, by a leather tailor because they looked ridiculous on me and I don't know why this jacket had particularly long sleeves. I mean, even the, um, the guy who was doing it said that they were unusually long um, because generally you'd expect standard sleeves to end around the bottom of the jacket, which now they do. Um, because whilst I might be a bit of a short ass, I'm all in proportion. You know, my chest size and my arm length, everything, it is in proportion on my torso. So it was a bit strange that the sleeves ended up being that long. They came sort of to just above my fingertips. So I really had to do, do something about that. So that's something worth investigating. If you're gonna look into it, measure your arms and see what the length of the arms are on the jackets you're gonna buy. Obviously, if you're buying new, shop has tons of information about sizing on the website. If you're buying secondhand, I do suggest you go through and have a look. Um, obviously, a lot of us end up buying our stuff on eBay. I mean, this is eBay, my 618 is eBay, my 613 was eBay, and I've got a few other shop leather jackets, all of which have been eBay. Um, so obviously you don't have the option to send things back if they're not quite right. I really do suggest you measure yourself properly. Um, they are really helpful at shop. Like I said, if you send them an email, they will explain. Um, they will try and help with the sizing. Um, but a lot of it obviously does come down to personal taste. Like I said, for my money, I prefer the 118. This is the jacket I wear the most, probably. Um, it's very comfortable. I like the soft, supple leather. You also, um, according to Shot on the website, they say that you don't need to treat or feed this one for a few years. And to be honest with you, I can believe it. The leather feels beautifully conditioned. I mean, I treat the 618 fairly regularly to keep it clean and supple, whereas this one, this one feels as though it'll be good for a long time. Um, well, I hope this helped a few people. What I wanted to do was actually try and show the physical differences on them rather than just sort of explain them on a forum again, like I've tried to with a few people, because um, I do think it makes it easier. Just remember, the 118 is much fuller. It's much more of a classic fit, whereas the 618 is much more of a sort of slim fit. It's much more fitted. The leather on that one is thick, well, it's not thicker, but it feels thicker, it feels heavier. And you kind of need to decide whether or whether or not you're going to be wanting your jacket more for riding or more just for the look. And I think if you're just going for going down the pub, just wearing a casual jacket, I'd go for the 118. Um, but if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I've probably missed off loads of information that would have been helpful to people. So if you have got any questions, um, feel free to, um, to comment, ask me some questions. I'm more than happy to try and help. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions regarding uh, either of these two jackets as compared to the 613, um, I'm also happy to help. Um, that's also a size 40. So yeah, I hope this helps a few people. Um, and like I said, you can't really go wrong buying a shot. They do look awesome, they keep their value, feel great on, and um, it's a bit of a timeless classic. It's never going to go out of fashion, you're always going to love it. And um, I've never regretted buying any of mine, although to be fair, now that I've got quite a few, you should probably stop. <laughs> Um, yeah, like I said, hope this helps and um, good luck in buying a shop.